Okay, I'm going to talk about symmetry. This is one of the most powerful features in Skylab Designer that will save an enormous amount of time um, and help you make jumps just easier and make them look, look much better. Um, so I'm going to start with an example. Um, one, of, uh, one of the beta testers uh, sent me this jump they produced. Um, you can see this here. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty cool 100 plus way jump. Now, the user had only just started using the app and they didn't know about symmetry. So they've had to drag out every single one of these jumpers. Um, and as a result, you can see that it's, you know, it's, it's a little bit wonky, things aren't quite matched up, and more importantly, they've had to do a huge amount of work. So I'm gonna show you how to make this same skydive, um, but much more quickly using symmetry. Um, so the first thing to do is to just have a look into the jump and see what the kind of symmetry is. Um, and the clue on this one is the donut in the center. Um, four-way donut, it's rotational and it's gonna be the four-way rotational symmetry. So, so I'm gonna create a new document. Uh, call it symmetry. And I'm gonna start with no jumpers and no tunnel. Okay, so, um, Bring up my jump selector. The first thing I've got in the center is that donut. Now, ah, I forgot to turn on symmetry. So let's delete these guys. Um, so if I go into the symmetry control, rotational symmetry, that's the box with the little arrow, and this is four way rotational, so there's four uh, repeated arms. So drop on my donut, and the app can tell that this is basically one guy and his three clones um, rotating around. I can drop donuts on top of this guy to, to work this out. So um, this looks like I'm gonna repeat someone, but the app is smart enough to say that one of those jumpers I dropped was on top of another one, so it doesn't, doesn't add a new one there. Um, and I can do the same thing on the side. Again, two repeated there, but it doesn't, it doesn't add those in. Um, next up, are my sort of whacker people. Let's make this smaller. All right, let's deselect all. And I want to just adjust these guys. Turn off multi-select. zipper coming off here and a, another zipper coming off of that and let's make those guys all wide armed one two three one more pair to go on the back of that so this will be wide armed and just push them forward a little bit okay um, and now I've got a block to go on my angle. I'm gonna build that first. That's a block of 10. So, build them over here and then I'm gonna move them into place. Shuffle these guys up into position and deselect everybody. Front two guys can be narrow arms. And that's it, I've built my formation. So you see that that's it's a lot neater and it was a massive amount faster than trying to drag out everybody. So let's have a look at some of the other uh, symmetry methods. So let's create this and create a new document. Symmetry 2, just to explore uh, some of the other options. So this is top, bottom, face off. So if I put in um, my guys here, I see immediately 
facing off top and bottom. Um, being all of those, so select all and ax them. Um, side to side uh, is kind of as you'd expect, it's that same uh, left right. Um, ax them as well. Now, here's my sort of four way uh, face off. Uh, this is how you build a guy right drill dive. Um, um, so you can see that it's kind of it's both the top bottom and the left right symmetry going on. Um, now one of the things we can do is we can actually um, switch symmetry. So if I switch to side by side and I drag somebody in over on this point here, he's reflected left to right but he isn't reflected in the other points. And I can go back so I can do top bottom and I can put in um, say yeah this guy and he reflects the top bottom and I can still go back to the other symmetries and they're still going to work um, so if I do do this it kind of moves everybody in um, so if I select everybody delete them again um, and then we get to rotational so um, five way rotation that's a fairly common one um, so we've got our um, kind of five way star here um, let's give those guys wide arms and then you know perhaps a flake a um, couple of flakes coming off here um, and we can do that uh, two up to ten way rotation um, so this is just incredibly powerful and it's just the best way to think about building uh, building your skydives think about what rotation is in place and remember we can always add an extra guy who isn't in the symmetry. So we've got our beautiful jump planned, an extra person turns up. We can just turn off the symmetry and then drag in our extra guy. Um, and then we can turn the symmetry back on again. And things are still going to work. So um, we take our group here, we can rotate them around, we can make some kind of weird. Um, sort of donut thing um, and our extra guy is shown in this kind of brown color um, to show he's kind of a, he's a he's a solo he's not part of the kind of symmetrical mapping um, so we can kind of mix and match uh, symmetry and then extra people when when necessary okay so now there's a, there's a great tip here to figure out exactly what's going on um, if I go into the displaying menu and I pick uh, symmetry info, I turn that on, um, then that will let me see exactly kind of what the computer is doing. So uh, let's pick a symmetry, uh, let's pick, uh, let's say, three way rotational. I drag my guy out, um, and you can see the L2 um, shows he is the leader, and then F2 and F2 show the two guys that are following him. So we can see kind of who's doing what. Um, and that's really particularly useful if you are um, kind of applying symmetry uh, to something that you've built um, another way. So we can kind of we can kind of build this thing here that I've built without symmetry, and then I realize, oh, hey, there's some symmetry going on. Um, I can put in my um, my symmetry, and you can see that the app has kind of figured out who everybody is. Um, now it hasn't forced everybody to be in exactly the right position. It's just figured out that because of roughly the position is what 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 is there, who's in what position. So a great little tip: if I select everybody, and I use my little rotation control to just move them just a little bit to the right and to the left, um, then that will move everybody back to the same place. But it'll make all the clones go so that they're in the the perfect matching positions. Um, and this can be really useful if, say, we've been working with um, kind of four way. You know, rotation symmetry um, and you know, kind of things get a little bit confusing um, and you know we, we flip into a different time say left right symmetry we can kind of see who's who's who what's what what's going on um, so that's that's a great tip so both that you can use the label to see what's happening um, but also that you can apply symmetry to something that even if it isn't perfectly symmetrical and then use that little left right tip to match things up uh, so that's that. Um, symmetry, please use it. It will make your life much easier.
definitely takes some thinking, definitely takes some practice, um, and it's definitely worth it. Thank you.